Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I got this uh, 1944 Warp Penny. Well, this is like um, this is like the second second year before World War II was going to end. Pretty much, it was probably you could consider a war coin. Got it from the Beach Arcade. I won some, won some, played some games. Just won some imaginary tickets on a card which they do on these arcades nowadays and just won this coin for my collection yeah old camera I reckon it's a 1944S <clears throat> this is when they went back to the copper after the war after they did the seal penny which was 1943 trying to save copper for the war this is when they pretty much went back to it and of course they make these mistakes make something you didn't have you couldn't have like they would make this a, you could find a steal one of these if it's genuine which is worth a, almost half a million which is whatever they're looking for other than that probably a red penny but it's nuts then you have the 1943 copper that's actually probably worth half a million if it's genuine But yeah, grading the 1944 penny. Because the 1944 Lincoln penny was so old, collectors only desire to have pieces that have been graded. To make long story short, grading is nothing more than having coins contribution professionally assessed. The following will provide you with a list of different coin grades as well as they mean in the 1944 penny. Uncirculated. The coin that is graded as being uncirculated is one, is one that never has any time exchange in hands but to but the day is minted and the coin was kept for a safety place where it is avoided and any all damage typically associated with old so old coins color might even have faded some extinct but condition is flawless <clears throat> so these can actually value it very I believe I just got this one for fun so the Lincoln penny is almost as long as this coin has produced is the 44 particularly desirable to eye collectors not only because it's designed but it's due to scarcity scarcity the scarcity of this coin is constantly on the rise thus making the coin more valuable that's according to the internet as for what the coin looks looks the obverse domination of Abraham Lincoln yada 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 But I'm gonna go ahead with uh, humor, with humor on Bible scripture. The seven gifts of the Holy Spirit: wisdom, understanding, guidance, bravery, knowledge, obedience, fear of the Lord, and fear of the Lord. The seven gifts of the Holy Spirit. So this is for y'all to actually humor. I don't want y'all to get hostile. This is just something to humor. It's either up to you if you wanna want to put it into consideration or not but this is actually real life afterthought Matthew 25 25 these are not my words but these are just something to humor I didn't come up with this but just listen Jesus commands to repent from eating unworthily the day you were born is the day you landed a world of sin with very little hope of you finding the narrow path with it with very little with okay I'm gonna start over Jesus commands to repent from eating unworthily the day you were born is the day you landed in a world of sin with very little hope of you finding the narrow path and with very little chance of you walking on it to return to the Father is a day of heartbreak that reminds God of your departure from heaven and from his bosom. About nine months earlier, one of Satan's ways of making you rem remind God at that sad day is to make you celebrate your birthday. It's how he treats you to hurt the Father. He owes everything, he owns every birthday. No, he doesn't own everything. Okay, it says he owns El he owns every birthday celebration, satanic ritual. 
The cake you cut represents your own health spiritually. You divide it among his invisible devils, that they eat that they eat and honor the Queen of Heaven, mentioned in Jeremiah 7.18. Also, the candles you blow represent stars, blessings in your family born and the unborn. He deceives you to blow them away freely into the waiting hands of his devils. You help them a lot, you really do. Beloved, here is a question for you should ask yourself. If Jesus himself does not command you to celebrate his joyful day of birth, or the day you accepted Christ when all heavens rejoiced and and what makes you think it is then what makes you think it is alright to celebrate a day that reminds God of his grief? With all the Easter's, Palm Days, Ash Days, and all kinds of strange celebrations that have absolutely nothing to do with Jesus Christ of Nazarene. All these celebrations belong to the children of the world and accused devils. That is just something to humor and think deeply and hard on and probably research and actually pray to God if this if this is too good to be true. Or is it true at the most of and from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffers violence. And the violence take it by force. Matthew eleven twelve. Okay, well as far as birthdays goes, everyone has a birthday. Even a dog has a birthday. There's no room for selfishness. And that's all I have for today. And there will be no taser exit. Apparently so, John 26 is out.